He's Joe Sid. He's the president and CEO of Thor Equities, which owns properties in the U.S., uh, in the United, in Europe, and also in Latin America. He's also just opened up new offices in London and in Paris. Joe, great to have you here uh, you. back in the loop. So tell me, you were venturing into Europe at a time when everyone, I mean, we just heard Andrew Liveris say uh, that he believes Europe is in a recession. Um, I personally believe that the world, uh, to a great degree, is in a recession. What you're seeing from the big picture right now is a lot of the markets that actually were driving the economy and creating a ripple effect around the world and helping it are actually hurting it. Mm. You have markets such so you're as about China. China is a great example. China is actually a country with a 7.5 trillion dollar GDP. People don't realize, but 30 percent of that economy is driven based upon real estate, mm. and it's actually a bit of a vicious cycle. You have government businesses that are buying real estate and going into the real estate business based upon cheap government financing and then they're using that financing to buy the properties from land sales from government agencies and so that vicious cycle that's constantly being created is a bit of a bubble and the general economy and the individual is feeding into it in China because they're afraid of general life, they're afraid of the stock market, right. and so but they're starting to buy four and five homes. So if your feeling, though, is that we, are, we may already be in a global recession, then why are you investing? Why are you investing in a market like Europe? Uh, I'll, I'll get to that. Just one more point, if I'm allowed to add. The ripple effect of China is countries like a Brazil, which is a stockroom for China, supplying their oil, supplying yep. their commodities, their food, a country like Australia, and then even to some degree a market like Europe you start to get that correlation and starts to move in a negative direction now why am I still a believer in real estate you might say with such pessimism yeah. and viewing the world as going into a bubble well it's the reaction of what governments are doing to to stimulate the system and fix the system here in the United States to some degree and even globally you've got action being taken by governments all over the world and now we're talking about so the stimulus you're talking about stimulus tons and tons of money being forced into a system the general concept was you put a wealth effect put money into the system it'll make people then spend money it'll then make companies spend on capex and then make them spend on hiring and creating jobs the problem is is that that a stimulus is stopping midway so you're getting the wealth effect you're getting asset inflation for well-to-do people mm -hmm. or asset holders um, but it's not translating all the way down to jobs and in the individual so you have a tale of two cities be it in Europe or the United States where because you right because your properties though are uh, I mean you know you develop retail space for instance and, and your anchor tenants are luxury retailers I mean you have some of the highest end luxury retailers who are your anchor tenants so your consumers are going to be all the higher end consumers exactly the difference of what's going on is prices of everything's going up so somebody who's an asset owner who tends to be a more wealthy person is doing good they're feeling the wealth effect but the person that's at the lower income strata, what's happening to them, they're asset expensers. Yes. So what's going up for them is only one thing, their expenses in life. So that's causing a bifurcation okay. and causing the better areas to do well. Let me just get to here in the United States, though. I mean, when you talk about the wealth effect, I mean, the Senate just passed this uh, th this bill yesterday, or they just voted on this bill, right, where basically uh, they agree to extend those Bush tax cuts for all but the top 2% here in the United States, and there's this threat of the wealthy under siege. And, you know, if you can de then take that into your business, does that concern you then? Because that is a large part of your business then. Certainly. The, the politics and the uncertainty of the politics have a great bearing on the market today. I would say everything, people don't realize again the connectivity of the world and how it affects the property sector. It's things like the stimulus, it's things like the economy in other places. And then one last but not least is moves even by government as a result. Governments like the government of China and the government of India are starting to react to their fears of inflation. They're starting to invest heavily in taking positions in energy companies and food businesses. Right. Or I shouldn't say starting growing. And with that movement by governments to hard assets, it's now rippling down to wealthy people. And where do they want to put their money? I would say either A, you want to put in gold or what I call golden real estate, which is the better quality real estate that's less affected by hurting jobs in more suburban okay. markets.